What's up everybody, welcome back to another review. Today we have a weird one. We have the Jawbreaker Zone OS. Uh, Discraft sent us this a little while ago and I've been meaning to try it out. Um, so here we are. We're gonna throw it, we're gonna compare it to a normal zone and see if the Jawbreaker Zone OS is maybe more so similar than a normal Zone OS. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We normally post new reviews every single week, but this month, if you're watching in October 2024, posting a review every single day. So be sure to subscribe. Where to begin with this atrocity? <laughs> uh, the bright side is this is super grippy, super tacky, and I think feels great. I myself and I think a few others in the disc golf community were hoping for something that was a slightly more overstable zone instead of what the Zone OS truly is, is a tilt in zone form. It is not even reminiscent of a zone. It's truly like one of the most overstable four speeds ever. So it's very unique. I think some people actually do love it. They love how beefy it is and how they do not have to worry about how much Anheuser to put it on or how much wind there is. You can just crank this thing on a roller angle and it's gonna fight right back, which it is cool. That's a cool slot to have. I really like that. I've found I really like the Innova Toro as a slightly more overstable, slightly less glidey zone. That to me is like almost more of a zone OS than this is. This is just a completely different beast. The big downside for me for Jawbreaker Plastic has always been how fast it beats in. Not really gonna be able to test that today. I think the first Jawbreaker disc I ever tried was 2020, 2019, something like that. And it was, it, it hit one tree and was devastated. It was warped, it was chipped, and it was a mid-range. I think it was a meteor, so it was already flippy. And at that point, it was almost unusable. This feels way better than that. This feels like a major improvement on Jawbreaker Plastic. Maybe I'm crazy, uh, but this does not feel like Jawbreaker Plastic once felt. This feels very premium, very nice. Let's see just how overstable it is compared to a zone. So far, I think my theory is true in that this is less overstable than a traditional Zone OS in like Z Plastic. I do apologize. I had a first run Z Zone OS, but I'm pretty sure we gave it away at some point. And this Jawbreaker one is still pretty dramatically more overstable than the Zone, but less so than what I remember the Z Zone OS being. I actually am liking this a lot because I have thrown Zones in pretty much every plastic. I've even kept them in my bag for months at a time in pretty much every plastic. And Zones do beat in, not super quickly, uh, but they do beat in to be less overstable than I would like them to be, especially the Crystal Flex ones. Um, and I would appreciate being able to have a Zone OS in the bag to complement the Zone, knowing that I can absolutely rip this on Anheuser and it's not going to turn to the right for me. It's just gonna be straight flight into straight fade. Super sick disc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think and we will see you in the next one. Stay swanky.